Hello everyone today. Hope you're having a great day today. And uh, God is with you. God is in you. He is for you. And you have no other choice but to win today if you're trusting him. Amen. Praise God. Well, today I wanted to talk to you about some in Christ realities. I was looking at the scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17. And uh, it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new cre creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So if you're in Christ, there's a change that have, has happened on, on the inside of you. All things have been passed away. Things are brand new now. But not only that has, uh, has that happened, but also being in Christ, there are some things that belong to you. There are some things that uh, you are. I don't know if you realize that or not, but because you are in Christ, there are some things that belong to you. There are some things that you can do. There are some things that you can have because you are in Christ. And if we realize that we are in Christ and we know that we are in Christ, there are some good things that can happen in our life. Another scripture I wanted to read to you very quickly uh, in Philippians, I'm sorry, Philemon 6. And it says that the sharing of your faith may become effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you in Christ. Amplified says, I pray that the participation in and sharing of your faith may produce and promote full recognition and appreciation and understanding and precise knowledge of every good thing that is ours in our identification with Christ Jesus and unto his glory. So because you're in him, there are some things that uh, not only have you been born again, not only have you been changed, but there are some things that you are now because you are in Christ. Who are you in Christ? Well, I'm going to tell you that here in just a second. So we're going to look at a few scriptures. I won't read all the scriptures, but I'm going to read you just some of the things that the word of God says that we are in him. So who are who am I in Christ? I am God's possession. I am God's child. I am his workmanship created in Christ Jesus under good works. I am God's friend. I am his husbandry. husbandry. I am chosen. I am God's. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am God's chosen. I am God's beloved. I am his heritage. So who are you in Christ? You uh, are you belong to God and you are those things in him uh, with some things. Uh, who are you in Christ? I have been redeemed by the blood. You have been set free by sin uh, from uh, sin and condemnation. You have been predestined to be like him. Hallelujah. You have been uh, given great and precious promises. You have been given a ministry of reconciliation. And listen to these I am ones. So you can even declare these things yourself. I am complete in him. I am free forever from sin's power. I am sanctified. I am the master's, uh, I am meat for the master's use. I am loved eternally. I am uh, kept from falling. I am kept by the power of God. I am not condemned. I am one with the Lord. I am quickened by his mighty power. I am seated in heavenly places. I am the head and not the tail. I am the light in the darkness. I am a candle in a dark place. I am a city set on a hill. And you keep declaring these and start declaring these out of your mouth. Then all of a sudden your shoulders start rolling back and you start realizing who you are. It makes you powerful, makes you victorious in him. I am the salt of the earth. I am his sheep. I am hidden in Christ in God. I am protected from the evil one. I am kept by the power of God. I am secure in Christ. I am set on a rock. I am more than a conqueror. I am born again. I am a victor. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am covered by the blood of Jesus. I am sheltered under his wing. I am hidden in the secret place of the Almighty. 
Those are good I am realities for you to know who you are in Christ. And what about things I have? I have access to the Father. I love that. That's one of my favorite scriptures in Ephesians that I have access to the Father. I am I have a home in heaven waiting for me. I have all things in Christ. I have the mind of Christ. I have boldness and access. I have peace with God. I have faith as the grain of a mustard seed. What about those things that you can do now that you are in Christ? I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. I can find mercy and grace to help. I can come boldly before the throne of God. I can tread upon a serpent. I can declare the liberty to the captives. I can pray always and everywhere. I can tread upon Satan underfoot. I, I can defeat and overcome the enemy. Praise God. There are things that you are in Christ throughout the, uh, the Bible, especially in the New Testament, that you are in him because you are in him now that you're born again. And I just encourage you, if you feel yourself getting down, if you feel yourself needing to be encouraged, find out who you are in Christ. You are victorious. Amen. Praise God. I hope you have a great day. God bless.